Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to answer a question from a viewer. That left a comment on my last video. I did respond to the comment. But thought I would make a video about this as well. As I think it's a good idea to keep talking about this topic so it stays fresh in everyone's mind. First. Before we go over this comment and my response. I want to say thank you everyone for your support. It really means a lot to me. And those that are trying to make a difference in our world. So. With that said. What's the comment? Well. Warren wrote. James. I appreciate all you do and your videos. And I agree with everything in this video except you being against marriage by the state, and the reason I say that is because of my Christian beliefs. Because if you are not married are you not living in sin going against God's word? I welcome any comment you may have on this. And again. Thank you Warren for your comment and question. I do appreciate it a lot. And here's what I wrote back. Great comment Warren. I've mentioned in a few videos back, I forget which one, if someone can remember that would be great. Where I talked about state marriages and their origin. You can wiki this. State marriages or the marriage license is a recent happening. Even in the Christian and Catholic churches used to happily take the word or say so of a couple that they were husband and wife. Meaning. If a man said to the priest or pastor. This is my wife, and the wife agreed to such a statement. The church deemed them married. No paperwork. No license. No nothing. Just their word and commitment. This would be no different than a woman and man committing to being with each for life between themselves and God, but the world would call them just boyfriend and girlfriend. State-sanctioned marriages were brought about to have more control over the people. More so to be able to determine who could and couldn't get married. Such as allowing interracial marriages to be made illegal. They were able to deem such a union illegal because you now needed a license to get married. So, marriage licenses between the state and man and woman isn't biblical. It's nowhere in the Bible, and is a recent practice of man to have control over others. With that said, were there at times, not always, but at times agreements signed between parents and the husband. Yes. However, this again had nothing to do with the state. So that's why I say. Chances are, that man and woman relationship, the healthy ones mind you. That started in youth, but were given up on, because the world says you should run out there and have fun. These people more than likely gave away their heavenly given gift of their husband and wife which the world calls boyfriend and girlfriend. I think I will do another video about this, as I think it should be talked about more often. You can see others making videos on this subject as well. Both men and women. There was a woman that made a video about such things. I was shocked she was speaking the frank truth and was saying the same things that is outlined here. Thanks again Warren. It's always good to challenge things said, and to ask a lot of questions. I do appreciate you and your viewership. As always, be good to yourself. Now first off. I'm so sorry for forgetting the name of the woman that made a video on this topic. I remember watching it a while back. And boy oh boy. Did she tell the truth? She said what many of us have been saying for a while now. That biblical and state sanctioned marriages are two different things. And if you want to get married to avoid getting a license. She was strictly coming from a biblical point of view. You see. Warren and the rest of you that are watching. The thing to understand is. There are a great amount of things we do and celebrate based on Christianity that can't be found in the Bible whatsoever. However. If you trace back their ancient roots. You find out the things we are celebrating are truly pagan rituals. Because when Christianity was developed and adopted from Hebrew laws and statutes, these rulers knew their people wouldn't want to give up their pagan ways so easily. So they just renamed these pagan rituals and put them under the banner of Christianity. 
and no matter how many times you open your Bible to where it tells you not to do this or that, or celebrate this or that. Because most people have been literally indoctrinated from their pastor or priest their entire lives. They won't even believe the word of God when they can read it with their own two eyes. Well, the same is in regards to marriages. As I just explained. And you can look this up. The marriage license is recent. Wait. Let me backtrack a moment. Remember how I said in my last video. And how I've mentioned before. That what is happening to us is much like how a big company buys out another company. Only to covertly run it into the ground. Well. This is something that isn't done all at once. They do it in stages. And they get their workers to buy into their own destruction. By instituting things that appear to be for the workers benefit. But several more stages down the line. You see where it was done for their destruction. You see. As mentioned, the marriage license was brought about for the reason for control. And they were able to get pastors and priests to get their flock so to speak to buy into this. Until it became mainstream. To the point people were saying to others they were sinners if they didn't get that state license. And when you think about it now. You see how much of a mind screw that was. But at that time it wasn't dangerous yet. Because the society then frowned on divorces. You were taught to stick together through thick and thin. Family came first. Now. Again as stated in my other videos. This in no way means society was perfect back then. As there was little knowledge about narcissism. And for a man or woman to get away from one was very hard. Just based on society's pressure and standards alone. But if you were a good man. And you married a good woman. The chances of that marriage going south was very little. Because there was not a lot of outside influences. Now were there still outside influences? Yes. Just not as many as today. Now remember the stages we talked about. They got everyone as a society to buy into getting a marriage license. Telling them they were sinners if they didn't get such a license and creating a pressure in society to get such a marriage license. And they did such a thing when divorces and splitting up were low and very infrequent. And when family was considered important. And though some might have had misgivings. They did it anyways. Because what was the chance they would lose their shirt in the process? Not much right. Well they got this way of life to stick. And become a part of our culture. Getting marriage licenses one generation after the next. Then those that control things. Brought out no fault divorces. And started to deem all men as evil. And then started the free love movement. And before you know it. Divorces became more normal. To where the court system was able to make a killing. Please trust and know. Those that control the strings want to keep you and me poor. And they want to take as much of our money as they can. And the family court was just another way of stealing from those that have it. And robbing children caught in the middle. And the money is now being spent on the court system instead of on them. You see. They didn't all in one shot make marriage licenses the norm. And then bring out no fault divorces. Along with the free love movement. That would be too much. You have to remember the rulers of this world are patient. They know certain things will take time. So first they get everyone to be brainwashed into getting a license they don't need and in times past didn't need according to the church. And then once everyone has bought into the system. They add the element of normalized divorce and family court. Child support. Normalized alimony. And free love flower power. Now why is this free love flower power so so important to make their plans come true? Because brainwashing women into thinking they should sample several men. Many studies show this lowers the woman's ability to connect deeply with their future life partner. Can this affect men the same way? Yes. But these studies show it for some reason affects women to a greater degree. You see. I've talked to women. 
and on some of these women's videos that mentioned how they left their boyfriend that was the love of their life. To so-called experiment. They all say the same thing. That this boyfriend that was the first man in their life. Made them feel special inside. That hit of drug-like chemicals would surge when they were around them. But when they started to go from man to man. They became empty inside to the point where they felt nothing. Now. We've talked about that drug-like chemical when dealing with the narcissist and love bombing. However. It can be a positive thing when the person you are with is truly. A good person. And you get this positive feeling when being with them. And they get the same feeling when being with you. But again. All of these women would state. After years of their trying this man and that man. They felt nothing. They were empty. And they realized these men were just using them. And they left the man that truly loved them. Which rightfully won't take them back. Here's a good example to think about. A new young gang member that is just joining a gang for the first time will be initiated. The older gang members will have this young oftentimes child do a horrible and I do mean horrible crime. Oftentimes to an innocent person. And why are they doing such a thing? Because they want them to have no feeling when they do such a horrible thing. And it's always the same story. This young person almost gets sick and is so scared to do this horrible crime. But once they do it, they find they can do it and do it again. Each time with less and less feeling. Well this is why the puppet masters target the women. By saying, you should get out there and have fun and try several men before you get married with one of our state sanctioned marriage licenses. And they know by the time these women get done trying man after man. They will have no way to truthfully bond to the man they get such a marriage license with. Which means an almost guaranteed divorce before they even take their wedding vows. Because they know even though both men and women can be both scumbags. They know. If the woman has done all society has told her to do in her growing up and young adult years. She's going to be just like the gang member I just mentioned. She started out decent and innocent. But with each horrible act. She has lost herself and has become empty on the inside. To where lying and doing wrong is easy for her to do. And again. I state. Both men and women can be scumbags. But what we are talking about here is the puppet master's plans and how they use marriages and are morally. Bankrupt culture to get what they want. Because the truth is. The men that are spending time with such a woman through her experimentation phase are indeed using her. Because these men have adopted the mindset of. Of you can't beat them join them. And the men that spend time with your wife or girlfriend without your knowledge. They don't want anything to change. They sickly like things how they are. Because all of these women going on vacation without their husbands or boyfriends. Or to the nightclub or bar means more access to such a taken woman by a man that has developed a taste to being with women in committed relationships you have to understand this was done step by step year by year decade by decade all to get us to destroy ourselves so what do we do how do we fix this well we educate others through videos blogs etc on how the marriage license began and how this wasn't needed in times past. And as I mentioned previously. If a woman is with a good man. And she knows he loves her from the bottom of his heart. But there is something that's not allowing him to get that license. There's a very good chance. That man is already her husband. And if he's good to her. And he follows Christ. He's probably avoiding getting that license because he knows deep down in his DNA. That it's wrong. That getting such a license to something God has already given him is flat out wrong. Again. I'm sorry for not remembering the name of the woman that was speaking on this subject. If any one of you know who I'm talking about. Please put it in the comment section below. With that being said. I thank you all for your questions. Comments and support. It means a lot to me. Also I thank you for your subscription. 
and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We are working hard to get a starting goal of 200,000 subscribers to get this information to as many people as possible. Also, don't forget to click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. And if you want to support further, you can do so by the way of Patreon. And for those of you that have already done so, I humbly say, thank you. With that said, let's continue to pray for wisdom. Let's continue to pray for strength. And let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time, bye for now. And be good to yourself.